friends, honorable president, honorable chief guest, respected headmaster, beloved teachers, and all my dear friends. Today I am here, or today I would like to express my thoughts about the problems faced by India today. Friends, there are innumerable problems in our country. Now I would like to tell you the deep information about all these problems. So listen carefully. Friends, there are so many problems in our country and they are making our country a country of problems. So it is very necessary to overcome all these problems. And we know that these problems can be over can be finished by the government. First major problem is pollution. Today we know due to the rapid increase in the industrialization, the number of factories and industries is increasing day by day. So due to the polluted air exerted by the factories is making imbalance in the nature. Therefore air pollution is increasing day by day. So to reduce air pollution we must plant trees and we must save them. Third problem is uh, and due to that contaminated water released by the factories and industries in the river the water pollution is increasing day by day. So we must not release or we must not uh, throw the water contaminated water in the rivers, lakes and the oceans that is very harmful for our future. Also the sound pollution is, is increasing day by day due to the rapid increase in the vehicles. Also second major problem is deforestation. Today people are cutting trees in large proportion for their own purpose for making buildings, roads, factories, industries etc. And that is very harmful for us. We know the importance of trees. Trees are very important because they provide us oxygen and they absorb carbon dioxide in the air. We know oxygen is very important factor for our life and that is provided by the trees. And we know for the wild animals trees are as like a house. So we must not cut trees. We must not any wild animal. Trees balance the nature. Trees are very important factor in the nature in the environment. Third problem is ignorance. It means loss of education. Today we know our India is developing in any field. Most of the people are educated in our country but still some of the people are illiterate or they are not educated. We know the condition of not educated people. They cannot take any decision, proper decision in critical situation. They believe on the superstitions which are very harmful for our development of our country. They do not get any job in any field without education. So that is very important to educate as like these people. So ignorance is the most important problem in our country. Fourth problem is corruption. Today most of the government officers are very greedy. They take money from the people and work for only for them. So we must, our government must not give job to as like these government officers because they do not work for the people. They work only for those people who gives them money. So corruption is also main and important problem in our country in today's life. Fourth problem is poverty. In our country, eight there are no any number of factories in the villages. In the rural area, today there are no any opportunities for the job. So to overcome this problem, our government must establish or start a number of factories or industries to give job to as like these people. And only on that time, our India will progress, will make pro progress in the world. Also, uh, there are so many problems creating in the cities as like garbage. Garbage is the most important problem in the cities. People don't care about the cleanliness. They throw the garbage. They throw any 
plastic materials anywhere on the road so uh, the availability of dust bins is very important in the cities only on that time people will take care about the garbage and cleanliness also the traffic is the important problem in the cities the increasing number of vehicles is responsible for that so as like this there are so many problems in our country i hope these problems will be finished in the future for our better future so here i am stopping my speech i would like to say thank you to officer because he gave me huge opportunity to speak in front of you and the most important thing that you listened to my speech very carefully and politely therefore thank you to all of you